this case, this uh, the, the paper is related about the same uh, the same project that I have previously explained. Um, but we have focused more in the changes of the city and the urban uh, type of uh, and the urban explanation. In this case, also we have uh, reflect the idea that the concept to explain architecture and urban are changing, and we can uh, find different type of previous uh, projects, previous applications that are centered in the idea of digital transformation of the cities. As you can see here, uh, we can find the project block home, also the play the city, maybe it's more uh, knowledge of the same city. All of them are systems to explain, to gain, and to understand how the cities are changing and the possibilities to do different type of uh, tactical projects uh, to explain the concepts of the new urbanism. In your case, uh, we have set up this, uh, this project this year. I, I need to explain that now, in the second year of the project, we are developing two more uh, locations uh, in the area of Barcelona. In this case, we are uh, working with a uh, um, public square in Santa Coloma de Gramanet, and also on a street that are changing in the uh, Samboy city. All the process and the project, in this case, has developed using the first project, the first location that is in the uh, Superilla Barcelona, that is in a place that like you can see here. The idea is to put the circulation of, the, of uh, motor vehicles in these uh, 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 streets and to do different type of activities in the confluation of the streets. As you can see, and I have explained previously, for example, uh, talking with the city incident, one of the ideas that they want to develop is a, a summer uh, cinema, also to have an, uh, some place to, uh, like a, 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 a library, and some places to do, an, I don't know, in English, work to one, uh, a garden, a garden uh, that, that made the, the city incidents are taking. Uh, in this case, we have compared what is the motivation and the useful of this type of project in two uh, ways. The way of the citizen and the way of the teacher and student of uh, architecture. For this way, we have uh, selected uh, seven questions about the uh, intrinsic motivation and inventory. This is a first adapted uh, system to uh, measure the motivation in front of a project, in front of a technical development. Also, we have selected three uh, questions about the social view of the citizens, the social understanding to use the 3D uh, and virtual and gamified systems for the use of social uh, needs. And finally, we have selected three questions about the usefulness of the, this methodology for the explanation and the improvement of the architecture studies. This is the first question that we have obtained from the Ferry and Edith uh, Rochette uh, uh, Fair. And in this case, is the results of the motivation and the social urban uh, variables and digital skills of the citizens. This is the same for the uh, students. And we can see here, more or less, the comparison. What is the main idea? The main idea is that all of you, well, there is something here of architecture students or not, not even an architect, think that these systems explain better the city. These systems are good for education. These systems are better than the classical systems. All of you think, more or less, that is better in front of the students. The students doesn't understand and of the systems. My God, I think that for projects or for construction or for uh, structure or for installations, I don't need to use uh, virtual reality. I don't need to put these 3D methods because my teacher doesn't want to use this one. 
the problem is the classical uh, educational system with a lot of teachers with more than 55 uh, years and when you present a printed plan using for example AutoCAD, oh my god, or using for example in this case Revit, uh, I don't want to use Revit because I don't understand Revit. But you need to do the project in Revit nowadays to have the project to present to the administration. This is one of the... Of the um, in the conclusions of the, this quantitative, in the previous one was uh, a qualitative study for usability, in this case it's a quantitative method uh, about the uh, motivation. Uh, we can assert that it serves from, uh, as a method for students and professionals, help to improve the digital skills, for example, in complex representation. It's very complex to change on a physical mock-up if you need to change something. But in this case, it's very easy because you can go to the, uh, the 3D application, change something, and directly you have the, the, the model updated in the virtual system. Mm. I am very motivated to do that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, this, is, uh, this method improves the implication and satisfaction in, satisfaction in human decision making. When we have present this model to the citizens, oh my god, this building is very high. And if we want, if we want to put here the garden, the shallows, uh, it's impossible. We need to move the shallow. For, for them, it was very interesting because they have also explained the project, but when you see the project, you can move into the project, you can understand the idea of the changes in the city. And we are changing now the space, the objects, and also we are adding to new locations uh, to improve this type of uh, 